Our next 2015 inductee into the MPA Newspaper Hall of Fame, Colonel Robert Morgan White, was born in 1855. Colonel White published his first edition of the Mexico Weekly Ledger on September 22, 1876. The colonel made the ledger one of the state's leading newspapers, and he became one of Missouri's and the nation's journalism leaders. Colonel White earned his degree from Westminster College and was offered a contract to play baseball with the St. Louis Browns. He edited a college monthly where he acquired a taste for journalism. Always just and fair, he deplored dishonesty and misbehavior. He had little time or use for political demagogues or those in public life who used their positions for selfish purposes or to rob from the public. Apparently, the town could tell time by where the colonel was at any particular time. He was a large man, 6'3", about 180, uh, dressed in black, black hat, uh, rode a black stallion. Uh, promptly at six, he would show up at the ledger uh, to go to work. Quarter of uh, ten, he would go down the street to the coffee shop, find out what was going on in town with uh, the various businessmen and farmers that may or may not be in town. Uh, he was known to always be in a flurry. He had papers sticking out of his pocket. Um, he was writing notes down. He, he never walked or rode at a walk, he galloped. Colonel White served as president of the Missouri Press Association in 1885. His son, L. Mitchell White, 1921, and his grandson, Robert M. White II, 1984, served as MPA presidents and are members of the MPA Hall of Fame also. If you were identifying something that was wrong in the community, you always provided a solution. Uh, the goal was to make the town better. People may not agree with your solution, but at least it would get the wheels churning and perhaps a solution throughout the community could be found and worked upon and made to happen. Colonel White was active as a member of the Missouri Press Association all his life and was at one time recording secretary of the National Editorial Association, now the National Newspaper Association, and vice president of the Western Federation of Writers. He was a leader in church, civic, and charitable organizations in the Mexico community. A newspaper editor in Warrensburg in 1885 noted, Bob White's paper, The Ledger, has done more for the town of Mexico than of all of its citizens combined. The Ledger is to Mexico what the heart is to man. Colonel White died in 1934 at the age of 79.